So what you gonna do? I guess so. We uh, inspect this room that we just uh, killed all the crustaceans and giant crab. So we got a door this way, and we got a door this way. That's what I'm getting. Guessing at, right? Yes, correct. Do we want to head the south, ceiling. or do we head north? Well, the ceiling looks like little daggers on top. The ceiling looks like daggers on top? Yeah, like little spikes. Stalactites? Or not stalagmites? Quite. I'm not sure. No, I'm they look sure. man man made. And it assumes that it drops water when the water accumulates to the dot. So it's quite wet in in here. Basically, it's raining. A little bit. Like little droplets. Coming from the ceiling. Interesting. I hear you. Does it look natural or magical? It's just man made. Not magical. But the moisture is pretty thick in here. Hey, I, well, what do you oh. guys want to do? What'd you just say? So, uh, wait, what, what was the Badger's name? Uh, but, no, it's not Tinkle. Did you see my agitated? Is it me? Or is that by silence?
and I have not yet received a. Yeah, idea. um, I was I was asking like, what does uh does mushrooms like at that corner? Do I seem like getting agitated or like excited around that corner? Okay. What'd you just say? So. It- Uh, the the badger. Uh, his, uh, his name is this, the small badger. His name is uh, Mushrooms. And hmm. Ah, uh, anybody here, Shibby? Yeah. I saw him light up, but Wait. I can't hear it. Can you guys hear me? Now we can. Yes. Been lighting up. But yeah, everybody's been silent. I, I, I kind of... Maybe it might, it might have to do with the sensitivity, because I did pack up my computer and move it 500 miles south, so... You know, maybe I... Because I had to reinstall a lot of stuff, too. Maybe it's something with my sensitivity. But, uh... I'll just try and talk a bit louder. Ah. Uh. Okay. But it's been lighting up. Yeah. And everybody's been dead silent. It's like... Okay. Yes, no, I can, I can hear you. And it's been lighting up. It's like been a delayed on my end still. I go into options, see what's up. I think I'm lagging out too. This course is getting weird. Try closing it and reopening it again. Testing. Five, two, two, three, four, seven, eight, maybe nine and ten. We're feeling so inclined. 
Pick some. Uh, still a delay. Somehow. Uh, L spells. Testing. No, I baked the banana right in the pancakes. Mm. 
Alright. Testing. Still like one two. One two three four. Yeah, it's still delay. Big time. <laughs> we can work with it. Yeah, but it sounds like you're all talking to me all at once. Hmm. Hi. See scoots lighting up. Mm. What's going on? Sorry about this. Well, anyways, testing. It still has one, a two. Ouch. Four. Oh my god. I don't know how we're go going to do this. Only it's, it's, it's your call. It's a huge delay. And it sounds like everybody's talking. Exactly at the same time. Alright. I am not writing out a full spell. Too. Wow, what a delay.
I typed something in chat. Can they, anybody hear me? Or yeah, staring? I can hear you. Okay. Yes, staring I can hear you. Delay? Oh. Good. <laughs> so. I can hear you. I think it, okay. I think it fixed it. Self, I guess. Hopefully. Okay, you said your badger looks down the hallway. And sees the door. So agitated about the corner? No. Alright. He, he would not care about the door. He just like, uh... Lag tights uh, in the air. That's what. That's right, right? No, they're man-made. Not exactly stud lag tights because they're not natural. Natural. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I just, I realized what you meant by man-made stalagmites. I see what you mean. Sorry, I was... So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my action and let Cluckerford go up there and take a good look at it. They look like mini daggers. Except for without the sharpened blade. It's just to a point. It looks like it's for like wire salin salination. Desalination. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, yeah, I, I think uh, there might be something to this. I, I'm just not really sure. So, I want to investigate it and have everybody look around because there might be a trigger that causes everything to fall down upon us in this room. It's, it's Understand yeah, what I'm telling? Look I'm like, ooh, that doesn't look fun. <laughs> I'm 
want to go like in the beginning. <laughs> right, that isn't any fun. And I tell mushrooms, all right, boy, I need you to do something for me. Like, just walk around the path. Him to his death. Oh, mushrooms is just gonna like walk. Oh, let me get the hell out of there before you start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I figured uh, out what it was. My push to talk wasn't doing ah, good. There we go. So I just have it on voice activated. All right. Mushrooms is turning this first corner. Nothing triggered yet? Nothing now. All right. Mushrooms keeps going. Anything? That didn't do his death. <laughs> <laughs> Just water droplets. All right. Sitting on it, making a wet beaver or thing badger. All right, get to the corner. Anything? Nothing. All right. Strutting his stuff. Walking up. There's the corner. Comes back around and just like comes over here. And I just like pet, I just pet his head. He's a badger, so he kind of like just like shakes it off. All right. Nah. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't realize what you did to him. I say, well, it doesn't look like the, uh, whatever triggered it is on the, uh, the walkway, the stoneway. And he comes over here and he just starts drinking some water. It might be because it wasn't enough weight. Well, I'll raise my hand. Uh, if you guys want me to uh, go around and walk around, I can try and set off whatever we're trying to set off. I'm like, no, no, if, if anyone's, if anyone's going to uh, trigger it by weight, it's going to be me. Okay. Alright, so this time I'm going to go around, but I'm going to stop when I get to this door. Alright. Anything trigger? Nothing. Alright, I want to, like, investigate this door. Eight. You don't know anything. It looks, looks like, like it's a door. door. Alright. Uh, does it have, like, a knob or, like, a handle or just, like, a rope? Yes, it has like, a handle. Uh, I just, like, see if that, and, like, it opens up. Yeah, we should probably get down there and look at that door together. I I all not. I agree. I'll head on down too. Does it open up? Oh yeah. All right. You see a long hallway with the same plants. Well, kind of moss-like plants growing on the walls. Alright, I, I turn back and say, if you want, go in the hallway, I'm still gonna go around just to, uh, 
double check. point in time I'm gonna send Cluckerford in with and take a look down the hallway alright you see a turn Hello? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I see the long hallway. I will let everybody know what's going on. All right, and I still, uh, going around. If I'm doing laps around the pool. Yeah. When you get right to the door, roll perception. All right. Do 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 perception. 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 Eleven. That's pretty average. You heard here some splashing behind that door. I'm like, huh. They say, sounds like somebody's, uh, sounds like there's more water Splish behind this door. Taking a bath. Splish Splash taking a bath. Over dub dub, three men in a tub. <laughs> I come back over here, I'm like, yeah, it sounds like there's uh, three men ha uh, in a tub behind that door. Ah, there's nothing but a hallway this way, so maybe we should head back to the splish splash I was taking a bath. Bam! Okay. Bam! And I, I grab, like, as, as I go, I pick up uh, mushrooms, and he's, like, like flailing around my arms. Alright. Hey, I'm heading over now. Oh, yeah, uh, well, I kind of have like a badger in my hand, so I my hands are full. I mean, unless, the, unless uh, mushrooms could open up the door. Okay, I will attempt to open the door stealthily. You're not stealthy. But you did open the door. And you see two giant constrictor snakes uh. splashing the water. <gasps> Are they taking a bath? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, if they're taking a bath, 
guys, if they're taking oh, they a look bath, like they're really worry from about juggle type. So roll mischief. Bubble bath. Oh, that's rough. It's only a three. Ooh, that was so close to being zero. <laughs> Ooh, twenty-seven. All right. Sorn, you're up. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I guess I'm going to have to attack. I guess uh, it's going to have to make a wisdom save DC 16. The first one I see. All right. It fails. Four points of necrotic damage. And I will move the hell out of the way. That's my turn. Okay, giant constrictor. Goes right up to, to the door. Yeah, that is bad. See. Oh, it does. Actually, it can go right there. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, that's me. Ah. Uh. That big ass snake is gonna make its way through that door. Damn! Oh, but got ten foot reach. <laughs> so five. Yeah, I can go up to the door, but I can't get through. But it still can attack tomorrow. <laughs> it just misses. This one goes right into to the corner. Chant. You're up. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Um, just like, uh, for measurements, how far is the left side of that next room to the right side? You mean here? Yeah, like from there to there. Just out of curiosity. 63 V. 60 feet. 
Uh, I'm, I'm talking about, like, from uh, the next room that the snakes are in. The big dudes. Um, from So from the left side, all across that pool to the right side. What's the width of that? Oh, you mean inside Yeah, the that room. next room. Mm-hmm. Give me a minute. I know it's a weird question. <laughs> oh, Asking good, for a friend. Good question. I just misunderstood that. Yeah, I, I know. The... All right, 30, 33, 30 feet. Oh, okay, okay. So. I just round it. 30 feet. Alrighty. So, since it already... Wait, wait, no, 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 hang on. Uh, I'm going to actually... I'm going to take a quick step into the pool here. Or, no, I'll move an extra foot over here. And right. I'm going to utilize my Wand of Web and cast Web on number two. So now there's a 20-foot cube of webbing in just the spell web. Uh, and it has to make a DC 15 dexterity save. Each, turn, each creature that starts its turn in the webs or that enters them during its turn must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, if it fails, it just becomes restrained. Alright. I'll just put a token. Or a square cube. Twenty. I'm assuming I can't see past that snake, right? It's just that big, right? Oh yeah. That's okay, because I was gonna get past it, but I want to put it right on top of that fellow. Right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay. That now it has is... to make that dexterity save. Uh, and yeah. On their it's turn. I okay. believe. Uh, eh, never mind. Never mind. Anything else? Uh, nope. That'll be it. Alright. Tomorrow. Alright. I drop, uh, mushrooms. I go over to the door and I just, like, close it. And just, like, uh, use my body to, like, help keep it, uh, closed. And, of course, uh, Liam and, uh, mushrooms are, like, scratching at the door. Pissing at it. All right. That's and uh, that's basically it. That, that's basically it for me. Sorn. Sorn. Okay. I'm gonna go go ahead and uh, the, oh, okay, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move over here and I am going to cast Toll the Dead. It needs a oh, wisdom. The door's closed. The door's closed? Oh. Okay, I will ready my action. When the door opens or it attacks through the door, whenever I see it, I will cast the spell. That will be me. All right. Oh. 
okay, giant snake. Or a constrictor snake. Tax door. Hold that 20. You hear a big, huge, huge crack at the door. Did it already make the web save? Oh yeah, that's right. That's save. 16. Yeah, it'd be a, it had to be uh, a 15. The other just stays there. Chant, you're up. Alrighty. Uh... Hmm. Darn, this is a big oversight. Moon beams also concentration. Darn. And I don't want to use produce flame because then that'll burn away the web. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I won't. guess. Uh, in it... this area. It won't burn away the web I just cast. Yeah, remember? The ceiling? And so moisture. Moist in here? Alright, well, in that case, you know. Uh, the door is still closed, the, right? Yeah, the door is still closed. Alrighty. But now there's that like a crack right into it. Alright. I will provide the help action to tomorrow. Like, uh, uh, as for how I'd help, you know, for flavor, you know, I'll cheer him on. Okay. <laughs> Like, I'm like trying to like, use my weight to keep this door closed and like, yeah, you can do it! You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, he's our man. If he can't do it, then none of us can. He, meanwhile, like, I'm, I'm trying to hold like the door back, like, <laughs> the snake's trying to come through, and both of, my <laughs> both of my animal friends are like, scratching and hissing at the door. <laughs> Alright, tomorrow, you feel this door is not going to last another attack. Alright, it's about uh, to crumble. Alright, so I grab my, so I, I grab my, uh, shield, go over here, and the moment I see it open, getting hit with uh, what spells do I have left? Um, say if I see him, I'm casting a sacred mist. All right. And both mushrooms and Liam are just scratching and hissing at the door. Sorn, same action. So, I oh, see that's a. Yep, same on. action. Ah, okay. Hits the door. And cracks it open. Alright, so, so it's gonna I'm make gonna... a. It's gonna make a deck save uh, DC 12 for me. But nothing on my end. Alright. Soren. What's the DC? 
I think it's wisdom. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's a wisdom, wisdom uh, DC sixteen. It fails. You can roll damage. Oh, now I get to roll a d12 because it's already taken damage. For eight necrotic damage. Chat? Your help oh, action? Oh no, I was just using the help action. Oh, you're using help action. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. For the next thing he does, he had advantage. Okay. What about your pets? Tomorrow. Oh yeah, um, held action. Is uh. He has a standard. Reaction. So. Okay. Chant, you're up. Alrighty. So the door just broke, right? Oh yeah. Okay. It's in pieces. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, darn. Oh, the familiars are there. So I would actually just... Re I would recast the web over that area. But I, I can't because then the familiars would get stuck in it. And that that would just not work uh, well, out. I, I mean, you see them like they're... they're they don't like these things. Even though it's bigger than them, they're the ones that's are the ones that are hissing and like growling and scratching. Okay, well if that's the if that's the case. It, am I able to cast reduce flame and throw the flame above the uh above the familiars and avoid hitting them? Yeah, they're tiny. Okay. They're small. I will cast produce flame then, and I'm gonna hit number two. Number two. 16. You hit. Alrighty, he takes a grand total of 6 points of fire damage. Alright. Alrighty. Well, Anything uh, else? Nope, that'll do it. I'll just be... I'll just be like, <laughs> waiting. I'm like, oh wow, these things go through the webs pretty well. And it's pretty moist and damp. Mm hmm. Okay, tomorrow. You're up. Alright. Oh. I have to say, my bonus action is, uh,. Is, is first, is, uh, I can only do one at a time. Mushrooms has to go and try to attack. Alright. Plus four, so ten. It misses. Alright. And. Sacred Flame on number two. So, with, uh, deck save twelve. Woo! Alright. More radiant damage. Alright. Sorn, you're up. Alright, I'm gonna cast Toll the Dead. Wisdom DC 16. Fails. For five points of necrotic damage. If he failed. Oh, yeah. Stressing back and forth.
been hissing like a snake? Yeah, I think I have a leg. Yeah, it's been pretty laggy. Even when I move it, you know, the screen lags somewhat. So, it's so I'm sorry if I talk over you. Yeah, it's, that's fine. I mean, Discord's been lag, lagging. Uh, <laughs> Net's been lagging a little bit. It's just been a terrible day for it, for the internet. Anyways, giant snake. Attacks the badger. Did it make the save? Oh yeah, save. Before yeah, I every that. time it starts, it's turning there. Or enters it for the first 19. time. Yeah, yeah, it. Can't and the, uh, he also hits the badger. If he does more than three damage, he kills it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he does. Mushroom, mushroom just disappears into a cloud of smoke. Oh, Chance angry. Chance very angry. Chant, you're up. Alrighty, you know, I'm taking Produce Flame. I'm throwing it this time with a little bit of malice. I'm gonna go boom, bam. I'm aiming for its head, and I wanted to know just how much I don't appreciate you harming animals. As I harm it animals. It flips his tongue. Okay, well, it's an 11. Misses. Ah, uh, unfortunate. And, uh, yeah, you that'll saw this. do it for my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw this small badger getting swallowed. By Biggie Snake. Such is the circle of life. Dumb, we will not support all our burrows here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tomorrow, yup. Alright. Oh, my bonus action, since uh, Liam can get up to it now, he has to go and attack. Liam has a plus five to hit. Woo! Seventeen. You hit. He does one point of damage. <laughs> just like he's just like biting and like scratching onto him. And as for me, sacred miss, so it makes a deck save uh, twelve. So nothing on my end. Thorn, you're up. Alright, I'm going to DC 16 Necrotic. I'm just going to roll 7 points if it, if it, uh, if it doesn't save. It doesn't. All right. Okay, so it took exactly. seven points of necrotic damage. All right. Giant snakes attacks the weasel. It does have and to make the save. Oh yeah. Forgot. Fails anyways. Now it's restrained. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know. 
Web finally paid off. Chat. Yeah. Mm. Alrighty. Well, now that it's restrained. Alrighty, so yeah. Can't move. And attack rolls against the creature have advantage. And it has disadvantage. And it has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. I think it's time we show them what for, boys. Produce flame. I'm aiming, you know, now, now it's really gonna get it. Alrighty. You so hit. the 15 hit. And it takes 6 points of fire damage. Alright. Anything Ooh. else? Up the wall, somebody. Well, Welcome there. back. Uh, nope. That's it. Thank you! Nah. Thank you. I had to do something, but... Alright. Working. So, first things first. Liam... Is gonna be biting him. And yes, yes. So, 13. Yes, yes. Damn. Oh, 13. It yeah. Alright, he does one point of damage. And sacred miss for me, so it makes deck save twelve. Fails. All right, it, it takes one radiant damage. Man, me and Liam and uh, are doing like uh, the same right now. You're so in sync. <laughs> and uh, that's Sorry. basically it for me. All right. Soren, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna do Toll the Dead again. Wisdom 16. And if he fails, he takes four points of necrotic damage. He passes. Anything else? Wait, you used mine. Okay, I got confused. Oh. I see. <laughs> Not 20. <laughs> I guess it didn't really matter. Alright. Uh, that's it. That's all I'm doing. All right. Attacks the. Ooh. It has to. It oh, has yeah, to uh, it. use the action to get unrestrained. If it wants to get unrestrained. Okay. What's the DC? Ah, uh, that's a good question. It's, uh... Oh, okay, it's 15. So yeah, it passes. To no longer restrained. No, that's to hit. I mean, oh. what's... The DC? Strength? Dex? <laughs> oh, strength. Con? Strength, strength against spell save DC. 7. Alright, then it's still restrained. Alright. Disadvantage. Chat, you're up. Alrighty. Time for Produce Flame. I'll hit it again. Slowly pepper at it. 19 and... Uh, yeah. 19 it is. You hit. 5 points of fire damage. Alright. 
Alrighty, and I end my turn. Tomorrow. Alright. First things first, Liam's gonna try to try to hit with advantage. I think it's plus five. All right. Well, let's just see if we can. Okay, twenty-three hits. One point of damage. And I'm doing the same uh, thing I've been for the last uh, two turns. So oh, sacred miss. It makes a deck save twelve. Nothing happens. Alright, now Liam is doing better than I am. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Alright, so... It looks like it's on its deathbed, so I'm going to give it the old Toll the Dead. Nine if it fails. Necrotic damage. It fails. And it's still alive. Okay, strength throw. Hmm. Okay. Twelve. Does that pass? Can't. A 12 does not beat it. It has to be a 15. Alright. So, still restraint. That one stays. Yep. Chant, you're up. Alrighty, produce flame. Let's light them up. Alright. You hit. Three points of fire damage. That's just enough. I feel really bad, but it's either them or us. Well, they're just hungry. Snakes. Uh -huh. Oh, man eaters. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, all they want is a meal. <laughs> Oh, we'll give him a knuckle sandwich. So, I end my turn. Alright. Tomorrow. Alright. So Liam's gonna just, like, climb on top of the body of this thing and try to intimidate the other one. Careful. It's, it's, uh, it's in the web, so you don't want to get stuck in there, too. Whatever this is, minus four. One. <laughs> All right, and then when I when I see it, I'll, I'm ready my action and sacred miss. But uh, <laughs> I mean, as far as the weasel's concerned, he's like, just like he thinks he's doing a great job. And that's it for me. I said I uh, hold my action. If I see it, I'll cast Sacred Myth. Sorn. You're up. Okay. With that being that way. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to move over here. It looks like I can... Actually, I'll just move up here. Do I have a clear vision of that? Yes, you do. Hey, okay. Wisdom save DC 16. Because it's big. Hey. Nothing happens. And then I move back. That's it. All right. The other giant snake has a 10 foot reach. And they can reach a weasel. So 
So, tack it. Ooh. Yeah, he, he, we just see him like, you know, as the weasel. The weasel, weasel. <laughs> and, yeah, if you're doing more than one damage, you're, you kill the weasel. <laughs> It's it just weasel. Like this, this snake was just like so pissed. He saw this weasel and was like, "Nah, fuck you." Yeah, you know. It just has a tasty morsel. But since they're magical, <laughs> it's like confused about eating your. Weasel, because it's tasting air. Chant, you're up. Alrighty. Um, I guess I will provide the help action to tomorrow via consolium for his multiple losses in this fight. I am so sorry. <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, I, I guess, I guess now we just wait. Either that, or we just leave. Tomorrow, yup. All right. I'm so uh, now that I got a bonus action again. That's not. Uh, being fed for roleplay reasons by rapid uh, weasels. Uh -huh. <laughs> I get my fish. Please. And uh, if I see the snake, I'm re holding my action. If I see the snake, I'm uh. It could miss. I have to use my bonus action for the fish. Alright. Soren, you're up. You just saw the snake do a Jurassic Park. Hey! I'm gonna move up. And I could see him, right? Yes, you can. Hey, casting magic missile. Oh. Four. Um. Twelve points of damage. Of force right. damage. And then I will retreat. Okay, the snake decides to eat the other snake. <gasps> but <laughs> it's horrible. Yep. It's hungry. <laughs> it don't care. That's horrible. <laughs> Let's see. Da, 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 da. You got four rounds. And it drags the body close to it so it can eat. Hmm. I took the weasel out there. Alright, no problem. <laughs> Okay, chat. You're up. Alrighty. Um, so it's it's focused on trying to eat its 
uh, friend or family. Uh, so if I go over here and I cast the web again, then I could get on top of number two, right? At least cover that area. Yes, you can. Alrighty. Then I will do so. I'm casting web. Uh, so the old one disappears because it's concentration. Uh, so yeah, just... Yeah, I'll just move it. <laughs> there we go. And I'll look to everyone and say, it should be ensnared any time now. Uh, hopefully. I'll maintain concentration, and I will end my turn. Tomorrow, yup. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm going here for my bonus action. A fish is going up to here. It's gonna slippity slappity. 23. You hit. Alright, doing 7 force damage. And I'm gonna try doing, uh, Sacred Flame so it makes a deck save 12. It fails. Alright, it takes a grand total of 1 radiant damage. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> No, the fish is fine, but no, if I try to do something, I'm doing is I'm doing less- I'm doing not as good as Liam. He's still dead. Alright, that's it for me. Alright. Soren. Okay, I'm gonna move up to where I can see the beast, and I will cast Magic Missile again at first level. Ooh, 15 points of force damage. All right. Chat, you're up. It's Alrighty. the snake a little bit. That's Dead disgusting. I'm moving next to tomorrow. I'm hitting them with uh, Produce Flame. And did it make it save? Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, it's okay. It's forgettable. Alrighty, then it's restrained now. Uh... I'm hitting them with Produce Flame. 11 and a 22. You hit. Alright. 7 points of fire damage. Alright. Uh, I end my turn. Okay. Tomorrow, yep. Alright, well, first I'm going to try Tuna Shaming it. <laughs> Seven. You missed. Oh, yeah. You have advantage. Woo! Seventeen. You hit. Alright. Slap Fishy Slappity for four da force damage. And I'm doing Sacred Miss again, so it makes a DC deck save 12. Nothing. Alright, that's all for me. Sorry, you up.
Wisdom DC 16. Necrotic damage of 5 points of damage if it fails. It fails. Anything else? That's it. That's all I can do. All right. And it's no longer restrained. Yep. And eats it more. Can't. No, I'm hitting it with produce flame. Come on, baby. Okay, that's a crit fail. Ugh. What happened on a nine? I roll to see if you hit somebody else or misfire. You kind of your spell kind of. Backfired. Alrighty. A little bit. That hit me, or is it just a fizzle? It hits yourself. Alrighty. Then I take a grand total of five points of fire damage. Take half of that. Alright, because I'm resistant to it. Well, that's... Oh yeah, that's right, you are. Okay. Anything else? Uh, uh nope. That's it. I'll just go like, ow, ow, ow. Alright. Kind of, you know. Yeah, it kind of backfired on you. Yeah. Little sparks of flames. Tomorrow. All right, my fishy's yeah. gonna try to slippy slappy. Twelve. You hit. Woo! Three force damage. All right. And sacred miss, so it makes the deck save twelve. Nothing. That's it for me. Okay. Sorn. Okay, I'm going to cast uh Told the Dead DC sixteen wisdom saving throw. If that it takes three points of necrotic damage. All right. And the giant snake is almost done. Chant. It comes down to me, huh? Well, I think I can do it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so, produce flame. Come on, B. Ah, oh, it's an 11. Never mind. And it missed. Uh, and, uh, in that case, on my turn, and I'll just let Webb do the rest of the work. Hopefully. Alright. <gasps> oh, I... oh, never mind. Alright. It's alright. Alright, first my fish is gonna try to slippy slappy. 
18. You hit. Alright. Six force damage. And it's done. Woo! Be right back. Alright. Ah, uh, and here I, I was afraid that I might have to use a, another spell slot. Yeah, you know, I... I, I gotta say. <laughs> Wand of Web. It's really nice. So, I'm almost out of spell slots. Yeah, I'm good on spell slots, but... I I have enough. To me, I have enough to do healing or an attack, but not really both. Yeah, I've got three spell slots open, and I can open up two more or have, uh, three more. I have two more second levels, and I haven't used the first level yet today. Or well, this second. still counts from last week. Yeah, I can. So, if we plan on doing more exploring, I can do one spell that will last a while offensively, and then I can put my last remaining two spell slots to focus on healing. The only problem with this one spell that I'm uh, planning on casting, it, it takes forever to cast. That's fine. We can we can take like a, a short rest or something like that. If we need to, or we can just long rest. Well, what spell are you gonna cast that takes so long to cast? It would be can the we... uh, the con the conjure sp uh, spectral dead. I mean, granted, it, cost it casts a minute, but a minute in combat is a lot. It's the whole com it's the whole combat. Yeah. yeah. But it lasts an hour. Well, how about this? We take a short rest. At the very end of the rest, you cast it then. Alright, sounds fine with me. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna use my arcane recovery. And my arcane grimoire. Alright, so we're short resting? Yep. So well, this snake jerky, I bet, tastes great. Has that double snake flavor. <laughs> Alright, back. Woo. Lots and lots of water. So we're taking a short rest. And then at the and then at the end I'm going to uh bring in out my brother. <laughs> so I am going to use Arcane Recovery and my Grimoire. To give myself back three spell slots. One at second level and two at first level. Alright. So, yes. My brother is here. Alright. I'll see. That one. So you got these two giant snakes. Our we can come back to them. Oh, 
how you're taking a short rest. You could skin him. Yeah, I'll, I, my character would definitely do that. And then, after the short rest, I would be, uh, summoning my brother. Yeah, downtown at- There's always downtown acti activities to do. <laughs> short rest. You could go fishing. As long as it's not Strangers. So chat. What are you going to do? With your downtime. All right. See how good I'm skinning at the at skinning. Eleven. You want to help with that? Yeah. I, my character definitely would be skinning that. No, I, 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 hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up to tomorrow and I'm gonna say, no, 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 we can't skin those. These are living creatures. Well, we're living creatures. I I, I simply say, I, I say I say this. I, I point to the first one. I, I, I point to the second one, I say, he ate Liam. I point to the one in his mouth, I say, he ate mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I eat them! <coughs> I'm gonna sigh. At least, let me send their spirits off with a small druidic prayer. I, I I do that, but I'm like getting my knife, my skinning knife ready. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so I don't know. Do I hold like, up, I, I, no, I I don't think I can even do this with like a a skinning knife. I look, I think I have to like go into like the uh the bag and like get one of the short swords. Okay, so do I actually? Do you want me to try and just say gibberish? It's up to you. You know, Grab I don't even glove. have my <laughs> god. Grab. Yay, god! I don't have a nonsense generator uh, pulled up, so. Sorry. What are you going to do with your? Downtown. Well, I'm going to take that short rest, that short rest, and I'm going to use the arcane recovery, and no, I'm going to use my Kremlar. Your downtime, not your short rest. For for. Are you skinning the snakes? Oh, I will assist. I guess. And chance. Oh, I'm it's not helping. Yeah, really <laughs> Personally, I could care less what about those snakes, but whatever. I will assist to help out. Okay. Woo! Tomorrow, click on the advantage. All right, All right. advantage. Woo! Twenty-two. Oh, with the short swords. I skin them so well <laughs> in front of you. You're just like. Boom, boom. Like, like I straight up, I look at like I look at my uh, my my knife. I'm like, huh, I'm gonna need a big one. I just like grab like bo uh, two short swords. I'm like, just, like slice, slice. Like, oh yeah, this is the best cut of meat right here. Just gonna turn away. Yeah, as I'm as I'm like slicing, uh, you know, uh, someone's just like helping me like get it out the way because it's like falling on top of me. Okay, I'll have to tre treasure. Woo! Uh, 
Uh, were these like constructors or like cobras? They're constructors. Okay. Constructors. Man eaters. I'd say. Oh, I just realized something. We can start making like our own KFC. Oh no. I mean, we got like all this snake meat, we got 11 secret herbs and spices, and like 6 kegs of wine. Like, this is how you start making like KFC. This is how NPCs get created. Uh, I am not going to start a fast food <laughs> chain with you guys. Not for this. <laughs> Chant would never let this go. Like, I mean, it, I just would not do that. No. <laughs> Alrighty. How much uh, snake jerky do we have? I'm creating it right now. Woo! I see you put in the other category. There you go. Woo! That skin's a bit heavy. I won't bother it. Activities. It's like short or long rest, and you can do other things. Like say, if you're in town, any town, you could have a side job other than being an adventurer. Okay. Alright. Alright, right. All right, now, you're fully rested. You set aside the meat and snake skins for later. So, which way you want to go? Alright, so as I said, I cast, uh, my final spell, uh, second level spell slot to summon my Breda. Guess we go south! I, 
I say, I, I kind of wish I said, uh, I, I say, uh, hold on, let's see what, uh, what my, uh, brother says. Hey, Oh Ling, mind, uh, checking out ahead? Looks at me, kind of just does like, uh, of a gnomish F you and just goes on ahead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. What is his. 30 f hover. Oh, 30 f uh, foot fly hovering. Um, and squeeze through with space as narrow as an inch wide without squeezing. Um,. In dimmer darkness light, he can hide as a bonus action. Weakness for sunlight, and if he kills things, he gets stronger. All right. So he's kind of like just like going down, going down. Yep, All right, he has darkness. This. I can't figure it. Out. Goes all the way down. All the way down. Yeah. And simply just like uh, waves his hand over for us to come. But then, as soon as he sees me, he kind of like does a double middle finger, but still motions for us to come. Testing. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Okay. I don't hear Shibby. I, I just said three, four. Oh, okay, now I hear you. Three, four! Sorry. So... Oh. Uh, Before I go Are following you? my brother, I see the uh, chant, I say, Don't be like my brother, don't end up dead. Okay. So are you two following him? We're gonna follow him? Uh, I'm gonna sulk in the back. Cause you guys just oh. killed Snake. End it. Sulk that. Back. Okay. I'm sorry guys, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. Sorry. Alright.
Playing for him. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, I'm welcome back. back. All right. Um, so I guess my brother's gonna go around the corner. Okay. He sees the door. He kind, he kind of motions for me to come over. When I do, you know, he points at the door, and he gives me the, uh, the finger. I say back, I say, there's, uh, there's a door up ahead. Uh, that looks like, uh, my brother, Al Lang, wants to go, uh, south. What do you guys want to do?
I don't like the idea of having something behind us that's not been checked out. I completely agree. So, where to go? So are we going to go south uh, with uh, uh, what all Lang Syne wants, or are we going to go the right with uh, Soren leading? Well, you got the north. Two passageways. And the door. That you haven't checked. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. <laughs> oh, let's hit up this one over here. Alright. I will so stealthily looking? open the door. I've got All a right. perception through the door. I've got a perception. And you see this through the door. It's probably nothing. Hey. Just a crack. That's all I needed to know. Uh, I come back and tell him there's vegetables up ahead. Cool. I like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over to that room. That seems like fun. Deadly vegetables, truth oh, be told. Well. You know, thank you for... <laughs> you know, I'll just kind of like slowly turn over. <laughs> and I will thank you for clarifying that they were deadly. Everything in this place is deadly. Everything in this place, as you notice with the snake, snakes, and the vines be before and the moss, they've been corrupted. And you see my, you see my, the my brother just get up to uh, Chan, just get like really uncomfortably close. I'll wave to him. He's just like staring over your shoulder, like straight up, like, like he's like ignoring you, but just trying to purposely make you feel uncomfortable. Oh. Well, you know, I'll extend my hand for a handshake. I know that's that's customary, uh, in the in civilization, right? We shake hands. I'm gonna shake a tentacle. <laughs> Uh, he, he accepts your handshake. He accepts your handshake so much. You are going to take 1d4 plus 1 necrotic damage. Alrighty. And lose half of that as strength. So you lose 2 points of strength. Well, that sucks. I'm and, already... And as soon as I see that, I'm like, No! Get away from him! <laughs> Alrighty, minus four. You know, I'll just go like, Ow! ow. I'm hold back my tears and say I don't want to shake your hand anymore. Are those temporary... Minus two strength? Um, Yes, but Oops. It, it's basically until a short or long rest, but if he brings something down to zero, 
become stronger. I didn't know that. Okay, I'll add the condition. Oh, oh god damn. That's not good. Yeah, I will just... Not... <laughs> no, oh, so, no, it's when they cause 12 points of damage. If he kills something with it, not also will he get stronger, but, um, it creates the, it creates the, uh, it creates more things. If they're, uh, they're not evil. Uh -huh. Wow. So, we got corrupted plant life up ahead. I say... Do you want my brother to sleep, slip through the crack and uh, have a crack at it? Sure. Kiko, I'll nod, still rubbing my hand. And, and so I, I look at my brother and I said, Whatever's in there, you have permission to uh, devour. And he just like smirks. He just floats over. And he's going to... Uh, try to stealthily... Go through the door. Alright. Uh... Let me just get his modifier. Sorry. Uh... Modifier. Modifier, 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 brother. He has a plus three. A twelve. A twelve as he's out uh, trying to sneak into the door. Get to the other side. And they're not very wise. So they're not very perceptive. Alright. Well, so, my my brother basically round. looks around. Yep, he goes up to number eleven and just tries and just basically just tries to uh, get him. Um, is it uh? It, is it advantage because it's a surprise? No. All right. Um. Uh, all right. Uh, let me get the modifier from him. Sorry. Uh, his modifier is plus three, so sixteen. You hit. All right. So three necrotic damage, and he loses one point of strength. All right. Chant Sorn. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, guess I'll head over to the door. Oh yes. Also tomorrow. Yes. It's still your turn. All right. Well, I don't see any of this because he went through the door. I have no idea what's going on behind that room. Okay. So let me put this in. Roll initiative. Hey. Alright. I have a 17. Sorry. My brother has... 18. My brother's okay. would be plus one. So whatever this plus one. My brother has a three. Yeah, your brother already went. Went, so. Let's go by the initiative. So, the top is Sorn. He goes first. Oh. Oh, Alright. So, I'm gonna touch my little friend and cast 
dragon's breath on him. But instead of fire damage, we're gonna go with acid. Oh shit, look at you being brave, uh, busting through the door. Yep. <laughs> Cluckaford will cast acid damage on 11 and 5. They have a dexterity right. save of DC 16. One pass. What's this, the blight? And I see dexterity. And the other one oh. passes. So they take seven points of acid damage. How does that damage look? Does it look, look like it sunk in there? Nah. It's... Let's see. Da, 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 da. It does the same down there. Okay, so it does normal damage. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And so I will take my action. And I will look at number five. And number five has to make a wisdom saving throw of 16. Okay, it takes one point of necrotic damage. All right. Okay. And I will move back. Mm -mm. I will... Avoid being attacked by stuff down here. That's it. Yeah, they do have a range attack that you experienced before. And you know these living mosses actually grapple you. Yeah, I think I should probably get the hell out of there, but I mean... I can't run through my whole teammates. Alright. Okay. And tomorrow. that is it for me. Alright. Tomorrow is going to go. So. At least I try to, uh. Get, I guess I go over here. Uh, can I see Sorn? No, you can't from there. Alright. That was 20 feet. But you can. Alright, so I guess I'll go. And I'm casting Sanctuary on, uh, Sorn. And I simply just tell right. him, you know. I tell him, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen if, uh,. My brother absorbs too much more energy. And that's it for me. My brother has his own initiative. Okay, put the... Sanctuary... Condition on. Um, it would just, it's a, let's see, condition, I guess. I've got it up already. Alright. So, yep, that's it for me, because my brother has his own initiative of three. And I'll put that on. Is it token? Uh, no, I, 
as you in the stone. Three. All right. Chat, you're up. Alrighty. Uh, I think it's time we show them. Let's go with the simple moonbeam. They don't want to get too close. They don't want to tangle with this guy. Yeah. I'll move right next to tomorrow. And cast moonbeam on number... Let's go with number six. So I'll force him to make that con 14 save. Or he'll take 10 points of uh, radiant damage. Well, he succeeded, so I guess that's 5 points. Alright. Alrighty. And that'll do it. Okay, now it's the complete roll. Oh god. They rolled pretty good. Except for the bots. <laughs> Alright. Top of the order. Soren. Alright. Well, this is a, a pretty interesting... Uh, Development, so I'm gonna have to do some stuff. Gonna, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cast Mage Armor on myself. I definitely All need right. this condition to be added. And for my bonus action, Clockerford will hit things with acid. Dexterity saving throw of DC 16. Bells. And. Bells. They take 12 points of acid damage. All right. And that is my turn. Tomorrow, yep. All right. I kind of go over here. Um. All right, since Soren didn't do an attack spell, he still has Sanctuary. So, Sacred Miss on number, uh, Number four. Makes a deck save twelve. Sales. Alright, it takes four radiant damage. And all right. that's that's all, all I can do because my brother has his own initiative. Okay, Levy Ma Moss number Oh what's number three Those right here And let's see she tries to ensnare Thorn. It must make a wisdom saving throw before it even attacks me. All right. Uh, D DC twelve fails. It can no longer attack me. Alright. 
Thank you for the sanctuary spell. <laughs> well, it's both for your protection from them and my brother. Number four. Those right there. And attacks tomorrow. Sixteen. That misses. I've started its turn in the moonbeam, so it has to make uh, the con 14 save. Or it'll take six point. okay, three points of um radiant damage. Alright. This one. Can go over here. Ends its turn. Ignores your brother. Because. It only senses. You know, flesh. Yeah, my, uh, my brother doesn't have that anymore. Number six. Moves here. Chant. Alrighty. I'm gonna put the moonbeam back on number five. It's not escaping me that easily. Has to make another con save, or it'll take six points of uh, radiant damage. Alrighty, six points of radiant damage. Alright. And I oh no no, I'll I'll end my turn there. I was thinking about moving into the room, but uh that's not gonna bode well for me. Okay. So I end my turn. Oh, where is it? Uh, Vine. Let's see. Da, 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 da. What's its range? No, it has a range. See. Oh, these are different. Oh, well. It just is. This just stays. That just stays. This one moves around and attacks tomorrow. Misses. And misses. Yep. Okay, it's your brother's brother's turn. All right. Does he get advantage uh, over here? Yes, he does. Okay. Plus three. Ooh. Ooh, unnatural twenty. You hit. All right. It loses. Three points of necrotic damage. It takes three points of necrotic damage and one point to its strength. All right. That's but as he does that, he starts laughing, almost as if he's enjoying himself too much. All 
Okay. Soren, you're up. Bonus action, Cluckford, S damage. Dexterity save, DC 16. Two of those fail. And that one fails. They all fail. They all take 10 points of acid damage. Yep, I'm going to attack with a spell. Number. You know what? Number five has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, that means you lose sanctuary. Um, nope, I'm not concentrating on it. Uh, once, but once you uh, do an attack, it uh, it breaks it. Let's see. I gotta see that spell. That's interesting. Well, I'm then hell, sure I'm not gonna. Spells don't. Yeah. As long as you're not hit, or um, as long as you're not hit, as long as you don't cast another concentration spell and some other third qualifier, you can still keep those concentration spells up. Uh, the thing with this one, it's not, it's not a concentration spell. It's, um, basically, you ward a creature against, uh, within range against attack. So the spell, and any creature who targets the water creature with an attack or harmful spell must make a wisdom saving throw. On a fail, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. The spell, uh, doesn't protect the water creature from area of effects. If the water creature makes an attack or casts a spell that affects an enemy that deals damage, uh, the spell ends. Well, then I'm not going to attack then. I will take the dodge action. Mm. Alright. Tomorrow, yep. Alright. I see how my brother is, uh, like, smirking. And I simply tell uh, the other two... Uh, we might need to get out of here now. And I'm mace to the fi- uh, mace, trying to mace number 11. Alright. 19. Alright. You hit. Four, four bludgeoning damage. All right, and that's that's it for me. <coughs> oh, since they can't attack, they'll take the dog attacking. This one attacks tomorrow. I misses. Number five has to make the save. Oh yeah, that's right. That save? Uh, constitution save. Has to be to 14 okay. or it takes uh, whatever half of whatever I got was. Whatever half of 15 is. Okay. okay. That'd be five. That's seven. So seven points of radiant damage, and, uh, yeah. It 
I can't move over here. And this is. Other one. Tries attack. Of course. Must make a wisdom saving throw. And fails. It can no longer attack. Chat, you're up. Alrighty. Uh... I guess I will move Moonbeam back up to number 5. And force All it right. to make another constitution saving throw. Or it'll take... 4 points of... It takes 4 points of radiant damage. Moonbeam is not cutting it today. Okay. Well, in that case, Moonbeam, good on you. <laughs> All right. I end my Anything turn. Else? Nope. Moving it takes my action. All right. That one just stays still. This one attacks. Yep, one that hits. For eight points of damage. Alright. And my reaction... I'm gonna regret... I may regret end up doing this. Uh, Mask of Warding, so it's gonna make a... This is saving throw, 12. Alright, nothing. 18. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, I, I, hate to, I hate to be that guy, but my brother. Oh yeah, that's right. Your brother. I was hoping to kill this thing before my brother did. I was looking at the yellow box because your brother. No, no, it's, it's, un it's understandable. It's understandable. Eleven. Oh, let me see. There's so many that's going on. Misses. Okay. That's that's good. That's good. Alright. Sorn, you're up. Okay. Bonus action, Cluckerford. A little bit here. Spray them with some acid. Dexterity saving throw, DC 16. Both makes it. So they take four points of acid damage. And I myself will use the dodge action. Alright. After Cluckerford swoops. Tomorrow. Alright. I'm going to try to mace number 10. Twenty-one. Five points of uh, budgeting. And it just shreds to to the ground. And I simply say, um, get out of here before my brother gets another one of them. Raise an eyebrow. Why? Uh, why? Is there something dangerous? He seems fine. Just don't shake his hand. <laughs> well, that's it for me. 
I, I'm kind of like right. sta I'm staying in the room because of uh, Thorn. This one attacks tomorrow and misses. As chance turn. Alrighty. I'll just move Moonbeam over to number four. Force it to make that save. Or it takes nine points of radiant damage. Dex? Oh, it's Khan. Oh, it's Khan. Eh. Uh, takes nine. Okay. Alrighty. And I'll peek over to Sorn and say, Uh, tomorrow wants us to leave. Or at least be ready to. You know, and I'll peek behind the corner again. As I'm dodging. <laughs> Being a boxer <laughs> over there. <laughs> Sting like a butterfly. Oh, like an inner tube. Sting like a scorpion. <laughs> and these start to advance. Hopefully it'll start attacking number eight. And all that sort of stuff. That is completely around him at this point in time. Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah, your brother's up. Okay. He comes up to eight. And he reaches for it. Whatever this is, plus three. X. And this is. Alright, that's it for my brother. Soren, you're up. I will bob and weave. But number five and three me to make a dexterity saving throw of DC 16. And they both fail. They both take seven more points of acid damage. Man, they haven't taken any damage, it looks like. Yeah, they're... Oh, they they're, got a good chunk. Wrong. They're in the orange. And I bob and weave. That's it. Plus you're level four. All of you. Except for tomorrow. Which he hasn't leveled up. I think. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I, I could do that when uh, uh, we do that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tomorrow. Alright. Oh, uh, sorry, just give me one moment. Yeah, at level four. Kids' gloves go off. Oh no, I wasn't I wasn't doing level, I was uh not that thing yet. Um. So. 
I go over here, and I'm just trying to, uh, mace to number three, and I'm just like, uh, Lord, we need- get out, please! Oh, that's a crit. Alright. So, twelve bludgeoning damage. Yeah, monsters are going to be pretty beefy from here on out. So it's going to take a lot to take one down. And that's it for me. Okay, number three can attack. Or can it? Um, as long as it doesn't attack me. He can attack me, but he can't oh, attack okay. uh, Swarm. Oh yeah, okay. 20. Yep, that hit. Four points of damage. Alright, marked it on my life points. I looked at him, I'm like, dude, bob and weave! Bob and weave. Number four. Those are here. And tax chant. With the ten. And misses. Okay, where's that? This one attacks. And misses. Chat. You're up. I think he went to AF AFK. Yeah, it should be went AFK. Oh wait. Da, 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 da. Yeah, at level four. That's when. There's no hold, holds barred. Anything before three or below, that's when you know you treat players softly because you know they're squishy. Some has it at level three. I was like, no. Has to be past level three. No more training wheels. Yep. Well, roleplay reasons. I know why I didn't just uh, summon my brother all the time. Because he will kill us all if you let him? <laughs> or at least what he's about to turn into. Yeah, I'm okay with you not bringing him out. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm kind of terrified of him. Not gonna lie. Unfortunately, Chant supercharged him. Yep. I, I thought kind of it figured. Because I completely misread his abilities. I thought he had to, like... I thought he had to drain 12 points of strength damage 
before he transforms, it says when he deals 12 points of damage. Uh oh. He's at 10. Yep. And, I mean, I know uh, that's, that's, that's metal game knowledge, but yeah, I, 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 like I said, I thought it was he drained 12 points and then he transformed. But it, no, it's deal 12 points. Yeah. Shibby, are you back? Just had a test. Uh, I can guess what he's going to do. It's going to move Moonbeam four again. Oh, let's see the. Where is that? Okay, Moonbeam here. I'm 14. And he passes. And I'm just going, even though to me, it's mad gaming. All right. Life's going to take two. Okay, this one's going. To attack tomorrow. Twenty two. If that hits. Eight points. Alright, marked it on my life points. The other blight goes right there to chant. Oh my brothers will do that as an opportunity to his opportunity attack. Reaction. Oh, yeah. Reaction. Five. Is... Oh, no, I don't want him to hit, but he wants to hit something. <laughs> Conflict of interest. Sixteen. Let's see. His chant. the damage. Ten points. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, I had dinner. Yum. Yeah, I kind of kind of figured you were AFK. I didn't uh, miss anything big, right? Not yet. You, got, <laughs> you just got walked for ten hit points. Yeah, yeah, um... I I got hit pretty badly. Oh yeah, weird. This is rough. Did I just get hit? Yeah, you just got it. Okay. Also, uh, can I use you my the thing. And yes, you can. Okay, I was just gonna use my reaction, uh, my innate cast. Of a uh, uh, rebuke, so oh, has to make a dexterity, yeah, a dexterity uh, thirteen save, or it takes seven points of fire damage. It takes seven points of fire damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
All right. And that's that's just all I wanted to do. Just use my reaction. All right. Let me see. Take the senses. It doesn't have vulnerabilities. <sighs> okay, it's your brother's turn. All right. Comes up to chant. Oh, well, comes over here. And he's gonna try to get him. Chant, you're, uh, you, you're fighting him, right? You say no? Oh, yo, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll nod, I'll nod. Kinda. Oh, that is. Like sweat from my mouth. Six, uh, well, plus three, so nineteen. Hits. Alright, he's doing four points of necrotic damage. That thing loses two uh, points of strength. And... Starts to, uh, transform. Starts losing more, uh, recognizable features. I'll just move the box. Coming a dark... And starts becoming a dark, shadowy figure. Alright, I'm gonna scream in horror. <laughs> and I'm just gonna scream, like, ah! <laughs> and, uh... That's him. Alright. Soren, you're up. As my interaction, I say, does he go back to normal? I, your brother? I'm just, like, I'm just like, I haven't, I've only seen him once and he went berserk. Alright. Good Quite to know. Okay, bonus action. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what I can do here. Think like a wizard. Oh yeah. All of them. Dexterity save All DC right. 16. Ooh. One pass. One fails. One fails. And the other one fails. So only one divides. Okay. So all of them take nine points of damage except for the other one that takes either four or five points of damage. And at this point in time, uh, I don't know if I could get the hell out of here. Well, those two can't attack you, so you can yeah, no, I yeah, I mean that thing though. Oh yeah, and I can't get past Chance. He's like right in the middle of everything. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't run away. And I, it's been that way at the beginning. Just so you have a understanding of why I haven't ran away. I kind of see that uh, I transforms and I immediately cast uh, uh, Turn on Dead. Alright. For roleplay reasons, he fails. So you kind of, you know, as I kind of do this, you, you know, I just say, go back. Oh, he is, he is as scared of me right now. Those two can't, can't attack, but. Alrighty. Right. Uh, where's not my. Your turn yet. Okay. They get attacked tom tomorrow. And they both miss. Now it's your turn. 
Alrighty. For starters, um, quick question. Where's my moonbeam right now? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Right on. Probably, the uh, the... Alrighty. It's on the shadow. It's on the shadow? Or is it on number seven? It's on the shadow. Alrighty. Because then you I'll killed pl- one there while you were away. Okay. And then in that case, the shadow does have to make the, um, make the con save. Alright. Or it takes ten points of radiance. Okay, well, he failed. So he Suck. gets plus one, so 13. He had to beat a 14. Alright. I'm sorry. Alright. Uh, I will move that moonbeam, though. I'll move it over to number seven. Oh, jeez. So I basically have to do that. He, he basically, you know, see him scream pain, but he looks at you. As he uh, fizzles away. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll move. I'll move it though over number seven. Uh, I'm s- once again, I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, seven has to make the con save, or he takes sixteen points of radiant damage. Okay, takes eight points of radiant damage. All right. And hmm. we're both looking pretty, pretty rough. Up. You know. Hmm. Did number seven already use its reaction for the round while I was gone? No. Okay. Hmm. It just hmm. uses an attack. Alright. Do I want to even bother with the... I mean, I can't use the disengage action, but I do want to get away. And I think that if I... I I think it's worth it. Risking it for the biscuit and hoping that it doesn't beat a 12. Hmm. Hmm. You know, honestly... Honestly, I am am willing to take that risk, you know? I'm going to move back... 30 feet. And it can make that opportunity attack. Ooh, it hit. Alright, then in that case, mm. I'm back. And I'm at negative two. And so it begins. Yeah. That's fine. Not all, not all risks should be made, but I chose to make it. Uh, that's the end of my turn. All right. Now it's back to... Da, 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 da. I see attacks tomorrow. Ooh. Seven points of damage. Yes, that hits. My reaction... I'm going to be doing the Mask of Warding, so it makes a Wisdom Save, Dex, uh, Wisdom Save 12. Fails. Alright, it takes three points of Psychic Damage, and it's now a Scared of Me. It's now a Frightened. Alright. Where's that? Number seven attack Sorn. Gotta make a wisdom save. I know. <laughs> Twelve. What's your DC there tomorrow? It is twelve. Okay. I 
Okay. So it hit. Attack. You can attack me. Yep. You have Eleven. disadvantage. Because I'm right. taking the dodge, dodge action. Seven. Okay. I know that's a fail. And misses. Soren. Hey. Sir Clockerford. Dexterity DC 16. Dex save? Yep, Dex save DC 16. Five points of damage and three or two if they fail or passed. All right. Okay. My personal is still taking the dodge action but I am running over this way purposely trying to pull them away from my friend all right tomorrow yeah all right no one of them is as scared of me. I don't have to worry about him attacking me. Yeah, that's number but four. I... And hear right. yourself. You gotta try to hit number five with a mace. Okay. Nine. No. AC's twelve. Alright, I will use my final spell slot. A healing word. And my, uh, my healing word is that I say it's not enough. Live on. Alright. So that, plus whatever I get for the life. First level spell. Alright, so an additional plus two. Plus the spell level, so plus three. Alright, so I heal for nine points of damage. Alright. Plus nine. <sighs> I'm going to have to get the opportunity attack from six. As I go over here. Misses. That's it for me. He's only leaving enough space for someone to squeeze behind me. Alright. That's a... Alright. I'll roll it. Okay, I succeed. I do, however, want to use Flitterbell. I want you to go out of my cloak, look at me, and just be like, Ow, how, how, how do you manage to do this? Ow. Anyway, I'm going to have her make the medicine roll to stabilize me. All right. Alrighty. Come on, baby. You just gotta get it. Yeah, come on, come on. Ooh! Close, but no dice. Ooh. 
All right. Uh, and yeah, that'll do it for my turn. Stop making sounds. Right. This one is frightened. This one attacks tomorrow. Misses. Number six. Goes to Sorn. Gotta make his wisdom saving throw. Oh yeah, that uh, wisdom. Eleven. Fails. Nope. Sorn, you're up. Buckford will fly over here and use his bonus action. Both of these have to make a dexterity saving throw of DC 16. Both tails. They take 14 points of acid damage each. Oh, well, that's enough to take that one up. And I will move... Uh, no, I don't want to go that way. I want to walk over here. That's my turn. All right. Tomorrow. All right. Borg. Or with, it's still a split eight of me. So if I move towards him, he has to get away from me. It's dead. The monster is dead near you. No, I'm talking about four. One that's near oh. you. He's afraid yeah. of me. I, I'm, I'm not worried about him. I'm purposely trying to make him attack me so you can help our friend. I know, but for character wise, I've I, I I basically I come here engaging five and I say Oh if you're gonna move that here. way get, get get out of here. I, I'm gonna be like he won't attack me. Why are you putting yourself in danger? I simply say That's... get I simply say get our new friend out of here. I get, can't get... help him help him. You're the healer. Help him! <laughs> Wait, don't... You do have potions. Yeah, and I mean, don't worry. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I can get stabilized. Either I'll succeed my saves on my own, or Flitterbell will stabilize me. I'm just staying in character. Meta, meta I would You're come right up to you. I'm not saying... I'm not the... I'm not even metagaming. You're the life cleric! I know, I know, but in char this character, he would he would do so something stupid like this. So he's okay. He's yeah, attacking five, ahead. and he's and he's saying to you, you know, uh, make sure the uh, other one, the little one, gets out. I can't do anything to help him. Uh, ten. The one with the knowledge is this. you. I love the fact that our characters are fighting. My character doesn't even have a clue, even remotely, how to help somebody. <laughs> It'll be just fine, don't worry. 
God! Unfortunately, that's it for me. I'm out of spells. I have no turns. I have no no more heals. Alrighty, it's my turn again. <laughs> Come on, baby. Alrighty. You get oh, yeah. It. Oh, I I didn't um. You succeed twice. Uh, yeah, I succeeded twice. I need to succeed another time. Alright. But let's see oh, if yeah, Flitterbell can right. stabilize me, though. Yep. Come on, Flitterbell. I believe in you. No, <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> but it's okay. She, she's just talking about how I shouldn't have gotten KO'd and I should not be, you know, slowly dying. It fails. Okay. Oh. Oh. And it misses. Tomorrow. Back up to Sorn. My friend. Your whole mission is to bring people back to life. <laughs> Please! Go help our friend! <laughs> For the love of everything! Please! <laughs> help our friend! I don't know anything about medicine! I don't even have a clue how to even help him! The one who knows how to help him is you! My friend! And, uh, Four needs to make a deck save 16. Fails. Takes 10 points of acid damage. Alright. And I will now cast a spell. Is it a protection from sadness spell? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? So it takes from the other apartments. Nine points of damage on four force damage. And I have just lost sanctuary. Okay, where's the check or the It's an automatic hit. It's magic missile. Oh, it's magic missile. Yeah, force uh, damage. How much? Uh nine points of force damage. And it's down. Please! My friend! Go help him! As soon as he does that, my little legs go as fast as they can. They're the dawn. <laughs> Footerbell's gonna just be like, Please, please, please help him! You know, I, I'm not- I mean, I think he's, you know, slowly recovering, but I- I don't know what to do. And, you know, yes, they're the dying. Not the right. up, but you're not dead. Yeah. I said, as soon as that happened, I just, like, fall on my back. So... Alrighty. Sorn just walks over to him and take one of the healing potions and I just hand it to you out of the party. And, well, me, well, me on my back, I kind of, like, uh... Like, open it up with my, uh... With my, kind of like try to sit up, open up with my teeth and like pour it down uh, Ant's mouth. Okay, I was gonna say, don't mouth to mouth it. He's gonna mouth to mouth off. that shit. He drinks as well. Shoves him down his throat. No, I would. Uh, no, uh, I think I would need more alcohol for that. Wait, <laughs> drink. Alrighty. Take, take a sip of the healing potion, spit in your mouth. <laughs> Another big spit in your mouth. As he holds his, as he holds your nose, so you have to breathe through your mouth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, how much uh, HP do I recover? Uh. It's 2d8 plus 1. 
I don't, I don't have any healing potion. I think it's 2d4. Take... I think it's 2d4 plus 1 or something. Yeah, I have to ask the DM. Alright, let me well, check the uh, healing potion. Actually, if you all go back to town, take a long rest. Yeah, yeah. Two, 2d4 plus 2. Yeah, but we, we, we're, we're, we're role-playing this out. I mean, he is on yeah. death's door. We are definitely going to feed him a healing potion at this point. Oh, yes, we will. Stable now. Okay. Yeah, it's we scary. know you're stable, but, you know, what if we run across something upon our way back? Yeah, yeah, you have a point. What if you trip and fall and, like, break your leg? You <laughs> might die. <laughs> That's... Oddly specific. Or specific. maybe, maybe you trip, fall, fall into the water, and you drown. Oh, like how Gohan drowned in the puddle. Like you, like you fall unconscious because you had no health, no hit points left. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be fine, but but sure, we can. It, it, it is a nice precaution. Yes, we, we don't need you, like, falling, tripping and falling down some stairs or something. They, we got stairs on the upswing up there. And, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff that could happen between then and now. That's how my character is thinking. I, as me as a player, yeah, I know there's nothing going to happen to you. But, however, my character is not thinking that. Plus, he doesn't want to help carry your at, fallen ass. Yeah, I wouldn't want well, to. I, I wouldn't want to carry. Well, I get up that. and I kind of uh, get chant up, have him uh, like leaning against me, which height difference doesn't really help. Well, yep, we can. I think we got to call it a night because it is nine thirty, and I've got to get ready for bed. Yeah, I was about to say that. Alrighty. Oh, I guess we're going back to town. Yes, we're going back to town. We're going back to town, and well, as as of this moment, that's where I'm going. So, since we're going back to town, and I hit a certain level, would you mind if I uh take some money from the kitty, get us some life insurance? Life insurance. He he's got he's got the spell. He's gonna get us the spell. That's what the kitty money was there for, is for you to get your resurrection spells. I, ho I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna keep it like in a little pouch around my neck. It works for me. So this time, Chance, if you die, he's got an ability to raise us back. Yeah. I, I think I'll be fine, though. I'm not gonna die. Hopefully. With the 12 armor class, I mean... Yeah. L look at our front line. We, we gotta... <laughs> We got the, we got a, this time was a mage. Yeah, you might. Maybe I'll, I'll invest get in some armor, <laughs> Frontline pets. And I've got a Cluckerford. So, I mean, he is a fire-breathing, acid-spitting, lightning, shooting, broth weapon of an animal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's badass. Like, all my damage comes from that stupid pet. <laughs> <laughs> but you might want to consider, consider frontline pets. Something that has a lot of hit points. <gasps> like a druid who could transform, transform into a bear? You, I mean, I'm not at the level... Actually, am I at a level where I can transform into a bear? I, I need to check that out. Let me look at the limitations. Or I a I have to... plate wearing... Why don't we hire people? That's another thing. There Hirelings. That can be helpful. We can hire a, a smart sword woman named Lix Reinhardt, and 
then, you know, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure she'll... <laughs> it, it'll, it'll be perfect, perfect. But, uh, yeah. I guess if we're calling it a night here, then uh, I'll go to bed. Yeah, it's, uh, getting a bit late, and if you run into a counter, I'll yeah. go over ten. So, well, in that case, dude, yeah, you know, I, I like the session, good stuff. Yep, like I said, level four, all the kids' gloves go off. Mm hmm. Wait! <laughs> And I'm gonna be able to have a badass ability spell here in this in a minute. Woo! For a frontliner who is looking like it's gonna be the uh, the plate wearing uh, gnome. Hopefully, you can swing a melee weapon all the time. Hopefully. Let's see. Well, I mean, if you want, I could. Uh... I could try shooting with my crossbow and get a possibly get a zero. No, no, I want you up at the front line because I'm <laughs> thinking as soon as I get to fifth level, you're going to be hasted like every five seconds that I can put it on you. But you're just so going to give me crack. Uh, uh, yeah, basically, you're, you're going to get plus two to your armor crack. class. You're going to get plus two to your armor class. You're also going to go ahead, and you're going to be able to make a melee swing every chance. Every round, you'll be able to get a free melee attack, so you can spell cast, then make a melee attack. Plus two to your armor class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And move ten extra feet. As soon as I hit fifth right, level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change up the rule of how many pets. So, you can yeah, have two off, pets. Uh, yeah. You know, for combat. Because it used to have been one pet. So I'm going to change it to two. To two. Oh, yeah. Does any of you want this uh, mimic cat? Because I know my guy does not. I'll shake my head. No, it's not natural. So, All right, but I, I do have to get going to bed. So, I Stay thought we were right. selling that cat. <laughs> oh, we could well, sell it. We could sell it. I just, option. I just don't want it on my uh, character sheet. And good night. Kurt, yeah, I had to night. put on your character for now. That's no, fine. I that's fine, I understand, because they have uh, the other stuff. Alright. Alright, well, well. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. I just put the uh, the life insurance on the character. We're going to back, go back to town. Sweet. Well, I was thinking, after you get that gem, we could probably split up all that loot now. All right, I'll I'll do the math in a little while and I'll let everybody know. Yep. Don't forget to sell all our items. They're worth half of what uh what they were. I think that was the ruling earlier. That's uh that's what I've been doing. Yep. Um, I mean some things I've been keeping cause just because I didn't know if you wanted to keep them or not. Um, that's why we have like uh three short bow, uh two short bows and like three short shorts, just because like yeah um. Just in case we need this, like with those snakes. Okay. Whatever you think. And like I said, if you want anything in particular, you know, it's... It's, uh... See, whether it's the short swords or... You know, a hand crossbow... Or a net. You know what? We could probably have a lot of fun with nets. Yes, you could. 
Yes, she could. God, like, hold on. I, I have a question. Like, how much weight can uh, Cluckerford hold? I mean, I know you have to go to bed soon. Uh, about ten pounds. I mean, the nets are three, so he could, like, straight up just, like, drop a net on people. But wouldn't bulkiness be a factor as well? I don't leave up to the uh, the GM. I'm just saying what it says on the uh, the item page. It can happen. I'm just saying we have the net. All right. So I really I'll didn't think that was an option, but sure. Alright, well, good night, right. everybody. I'll, I'll do the math shortly and I'll post it on here. Okay. Okay. Bye, right. guys. Good night. Uh, let's see here. The good owl. Night.